In this section, we'll again look at order of operations and exponents with negative numbers. So we'll just remember back to module one where we talked about this the first time. So in this problem, this first example, we have negative three, and negative three is written there five times. So we'll write our negative three as our base. We're going to keep it in parentheses so that it's the whole negative three that is raised to the fifth power. So negative three in parentheses, the parentheses are important because of the negative to the fifth power. So this asks us to evaluate this in problem two. So remember, this means negative 10 times negative 10. So negative times a negative is a, is a positive, and 10 times 10 is 100. So we get positive 100. Now you can do this in your calculator, but if you do, you have to remember to keep the parentheses around the number. So you're going to type parentheses negative 10 parentheses to the power of 2. Or, if it's an exponent of 2 specifically, there's a button on your calculator that says x squared. That's how we read an exponent of 2, and that will put it as an exponent of 2. Now, that only works if this number is a 2. You can't use this button for anything other than an exponent of 2. But either way, as long as you keep those parentheses around the negative 10, it should give you 100 as your answer. So let's look at this one. Let's look at what this really means. Here there's no parentheses, so I told you a few minutes ago that the parentheses are really important. What this is telling us is that this is 9 times 9. That exponent of 2 is only good for what's right before it, just the 9. Now this negative that was out in front just stays out in front. It's not part of the squared, okay, the exponent of 2. So if we take 9 times 9, we get 81. And this negative that was out in front just stays out in front. And if you type this into your calculator with the, print, or with the negative button, and then the 9, and then the x squared button, because it's an exponent of 2, you will get negative 81. Your calculator knows that there's no parentheses around it, and so it only squares the 9. So here's an order of operations problem, just as a reminder. We start with what's in the parentheses. So we're going to do the parentheses but we're going to copy everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and copy everything else. So this first set of parentheses says 4 minus 9. So remember that really means 4 plus a negative 9. The signs are different, so we subtract. We really do 9 minus 4, which is 5. But the bigger number was negative, so our answer is negative. We get a negative 5. It's like saying you have $4, but you're trying to take away $9. It leaves you $5 in the hole, or a negative 5. So let's look at the other set of parentheses here. This says negative 2 minus 6. That really means negative 2 plus a negative 6. Add the opposite. So in this case, it's like you owe $2 and you owe 6 more dollars. They're both negative. You end up with negative. And it's a negative 8. So now we can do the exponents part. We'll do this one first. Remember this means negative 5 times negative 5 because of the parentheses. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. We'll keep the plus there. And then we'll do negative 8 times negative 8. And negative 8 times negative 8 is a positive 64. And then the only thing left is to add them. So 25 and 64 is 89. And that should help you do this section.